Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Kevin Barnett joined by Team Honda Muscle Melics, Eric Kehoe. Eric finished up the season yesterday. Justin Brayton with another good ride. Seems like your team ended the season on a high after some struggles through the year. Yeah, it really was. It was a good uh, finish to the series. I know that uh, Justin really pushed through some injuries, and I think he did a great job pushing through that injury. Came back to have some good, strong podium finishes. Justin got that Rock Hard Ride Hard award. Was, were drinks on him last night with the 10 grand? Yeah, they were. I think he was having a having a good time with it. You know, meeting Brett Michaels, and uh, he had a good time. It was uh, it was a good race for him, building confidence for that outdoors. Looking forward towards 2013 in SX. I know you have outdoors to think about, but thinking about 2013 Supercross, where are you with your rider situation? Who are we going to see on your bikes? Well, we're still working on that right now. We're in the middle of negotiations. We had a uh, we had a really good announcement last night that uh, Justin Barsha is going to be joining the team next year. And uh, we're still working on the lineup, and uh, we should know something fairly soon. Yeah, you had to be encouraged by that performance with Barsha yesterday and really all season long. He's been incredibly consistent. That sometimes gets forgotten when people talk about Bam Bam or the way he rides a bike and his aggression. They forget how consistent his finishes have been really ever since he started riding professionally. You know, it really was. I, you know, really proud of his efforts this year. He ste stepped it up to a new level. He's got a trainer. Jeff Stanton's working with him now. Um, he's taken his program to a whole nother level and he's gotten really consistent with it. And uh, we're really looking forward to seeing him on the 450 too because he rides that bike really well. In thinking about Justin Barsha and his education, he's toned it down a bit this year. Will you guys continue to tone it down or what do you do with that aggression level that he rides with? I think that, you know, just that's one of Justin's, uh, his, uh, you know, positive uh, things that he has in his program is that he's, he's really aggressive. And I think that, you know, we don't want to change that, but I think he's been able to harness that energy and uh, use it in a different way to his advantage. So I think that he's, uh, he's getting smarter as a racer and he's going to use that aggressiveness to, uh, to his advantage, especially when he gets on the 450. Every year there's evolution to the bikes. Your bikes in the last few years have really come a long way. What changes are there in store people can expect from the Honda? Well, I tell you, we're, we're working all the time to make refinements, uh, make things better, um, easier for the guys to ride. And we've got some really cool things coming down, uh, you know, in store for the future. It's really, it's a bright future right now for, uh, for our bikes in, uh, in motocross, and it's, it's going to be a fun time when they come out. We're here at the awards ceremony. How much time do you take to reflect on the Supercross season with outdoors pending? But do you take a little bit of time to kind of dissect what happened during the year, think about rider planning, think about next year, and what things need to be done in preparation for the Supercross grind next season? Yeah, we take about one day, like today. <laughs> now, we've already started our outdoor uh, testing, and uh, we've got a, a pretty busy week planned next week uh, preparing. And I think that uh, you know, it's going to be a good series. We're really looking forward to it. But I think the riders, uh, you know, they take a little bit of time off, you know, just kind of recharge their batteries. But, uh, but it is, it's going to be a tough series, so we, we go right back into it. When it comes to that outdoor series, after that's over with, then you have a little bit of a break. How much of a break do you guys take, the mechanics, the managers, the drivers, everybody, before you start ramping up again? Well, usually the guys, uh, you know, I try to get our guys to take some sort of vacation. You know, they need to get a little bit of a break from it. But we really go right into it. It's nonstop because we're always developing. We're always trying to improve. We're always trying to learn things. So it's a, it's, it's a never-ending process, but it is important for those guys to spend time, our whole team, um, the athletes, to spend time with their families and enjoy some of the holidays. Um, so it's, it is important, but uh, it's, it's a full-time job for sure.